What's going on, everybody? Before we get into the player that you're here for, I just wanted to let you know that if you're interested in any other player, I have more than 20 fantasy previews coming your way. So check the playlist down below and they'll all be listed below. Thanks, and let's get into the video. Saquon Barkley comes in as my RB4, sixth player overall. And welcome back, Saquon Barkley. You know, that, it just honestly, it warms my heart to have him back in our fantasy elite status of players. Because I was scared we lost him. Last year, he came away with over 350 touches for 1,600 yards and 10 touchdowns. That's a great season. Saquon Barkley is back to being a really, really, really great player. No really major red flags for me coming from the Barkley camp. The only thing I have is that his offense is up and down, I would say. Last year, Brian Dable really turned the Giants around, a complete 180 from what they were the year prior, which is awesome. In a year where Daniel Jones literally threw 15 touchdowns, Saquon Barkley had a really fancy, productive season, which is awesome. But the only thing I have, and that's what separates him a little bit from the Christian McCaffrey, Austin Eckler, Nick Chubb group that I have in front of him, is that he's a little bit up and down. I mean, he's kind of doomed to have the games where he does rush, you know, 15 times for 45 yards and doesn't get you the touchdown. You go, dang, man, like, that's a bad game. Sure, he got you a couple receptions, you know, whatever. But he finished a game with like nine points. Those are destined to happen. And that's just the name of the running backs in the modern NFL. It's going to happen. But at the end of the day, I don't want you to get blinded. Because for as many games as Saquon Barkley will do that, he could still also give you the 22 carries for 145 yards and two touchdown games. Because he's awesome. You know, he's a great player and he's going to go out and probably catch another 50 to 60 balls. I wish it was more, to be honest, because I think he's just so special in the open field. So at the end of the day, Saquon Barkley to me is just maybe not 100 percent foolproof because we've seen him have some injuries and we've seen that offense vary, you know, from being pretty decent to, oh, my God, that's terrible. But he feels safer than any other running back coming after him. So to me, Saquon Barkley is just too talented of a player to be not in my top six players this year for fantasy football.